50,000 YouTube subscribers, which is madness. If I could, and you guys wanted me to, I would say thank you 20,000 times, but I would be here forever, and that's not what you guys came here to see. But we have just reached 20,000 YouTube subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I appreciate it if you've come in from the sunshine today to do the trivia with us. It is a lovely, lovely day here in the UK, down on the south coast. It's reached 23 degrees, which for England is the height of summer. It is absolutely glorious. Hello to everybody who is just joining me now. Thank you for all joining us on this very, very sunny Friday. Let me know where you're from. And if it is sunny where you are, please do let me know. Hello to people who are coming in here. Congratulations for the 20K. Thank you very much. I'm actually launching something. I haven't told anybody about this yet, so you guys are the first to know. But to celebrate my 20,000 YouTube subscribers, I'm finally launching a patron, Patreon, however you say that word. I've had people wanting me to start a Patreon since I was at about 3,000 YouTube subscribers. I meant to do it when I got to 5,000 and 10,000 and 15,000 and here we are now at 20,000 and I'm finally launching a Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a platform where you can support creators like me and you get exclusive content. So what I've been doing today is recording my first ever podcast, which was really, really exciting. And that is going to be a Patreon only podcast. I'm putting things on there like behind the scenes stuff. And it's a place for me where I can say kind of anything I want to say because it's a it's a little closed community where we can really get to know each other. So if you would like to consider supporting me and you can head to patreon.com forward slash Emma Cruises Patreon. It would be fantastic if I could have forward slash Emma Cruises, but I signed up for it about two years ago and I can't remember the login. So I've actually just sabotaged myself, but it would be fantastic to see you in there. I did my first ever podcast earlier for Patreon and I think I'm really going to like podcasting. I love YouTube. YouTube is fantastic, but it feels a bit like acting. And I have to say things that I know people are going to click on and stuff like that. Whereas a podcast, I'm kind of viewing it as we sit down, maybe over a Pepsi Max, and we just chat about things and I can say whatever I like. So hello to everybody who is joining me. Hello from Sweden. We've got people from all over the world, people from Canada. Thank you all so much for joining me, especially if it is lovely and sunny outside and you've come in from the sun. I do really, really appreciate that. Thank you all so much for coming. Let me know too if you have any other ideas about what you'd like me to do here. Would you like me to do different trivia? Would you like to just do a Q&A? Would you like to do, I don't know what you'd like to do, but I'm scheduling this hour to be live on YouTube every week and I'm really enjoying these trivias because I'm learning things. I'm learning quite a lot. Hello to everybody who has joined me. Are we ready to start some cruise trivia? Everybody ready? I think we're ready. It isn't 23 degrees in Essex. I'm sorry. It's lovely. I'm down on the south coast. There's not a cloud in the sky. It is fantastic. I've got a suntan going on. I have to apologize if I look grubby. I've been um, painting the guttering outside, so I've kind of got like black dirt all over me. I've had a bath, I've tried to scrub it off, but that paint it does not come off. So apologies if I look a little bit grubby, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, on now to question number one. I see you already. We have got, what is the oldest cruise ship in the Morella Cruises fleet? To go along with the trivia today, I have got some squash again. I drink so much squash and this one is cherries and berries. It is fantastic and it means I can have a drink without kind of interrupting you guys, although I am kind of dribbling it on me a little bit. What is the oldest cruise ship in the Morella Cruises fleet? So far, so hard. <laughs> We've got Mr. Wig and Dave in here. Hello to Mr. Wig and Dave. I see some correct answers and I see some not so correct answers. I'm not sure I like this suggestion. Got to use petrol to get the paint off. I'm not about to start rubbing petrol on myself, but I'm sure it'll come off in time. No one is going to see me, just you guys on the live, and I've explained to you, so that's fine. 
Hello, this is my first live with you. Thank you so much to everybody. <laughs> I like how it says new subscriber. I'm guessing that means new subscriber, but thank you so much for joining me. Um, if this is your first time, hello and welcome. We will just do some cruise trivia for an hour. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. And if you've come back time and time again, thank you so much. Okay, moving on to question number two now. We've got 15 questions today. I think 15 worked quite well last week. The Atlantic Ocean is the biggest ocean, true or false? <laughs> I can't, I need to stop myself from reading the comments when I should be, you know, looking at the screen. It's really difficult. I did a Zoom chat with my, my day job work the other day. And I have to say, I was sat there and I was so, so nervous waiting for my time to speak. My heart was going at about... 180 miles per hour beats per minute probably and i was so nervous but here talking to you guys on the live i don't feel nervous at all i think we 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 know each other don't we and i know this subject quite well so is it true or false the atlantic ocean is the biggest ocean lots of answers there hello to everyone who's joining me from facebook if you're joining me on facebook that's great it's better if you come over to youtube because I don't know why, but it just is Facebook and StreamYard who I'm using. I don't know if they don't like each other or something, but if you can come to YouTube, YouTube Emma Cruises, that's easiest. But if you're watching from Facebook, then thank you as well. Okay, question number three. There are four cruise lines where guests can smoke on their balconies. They are the German Two, Tui, Fred Olsen, Aida, and which other? I have to say, I've always pronounced that one Ada, but then everyone told me it was Aida. I need someone who's who goes on them to tell me how they actually say it on board. I'm going to go with Aida, but I'm not really sure about that. Hello to my mum who's just joined me in here. I've got people asking about Hudson. He's outside. He's in the sun. He's loving it. I'm trying to keep him at the moment away from the guttering that I just painted because I painted the gutter black and Hudson is ginger and white and I don't want him to become a black cat and get it all over my house. We've got Mr. Wig and Dave here says I'm a non-smoker. Mr. Wig and Dave has been in here every single week and has got most of these questions right so maybe I finally put something in here to catch him out. I did make a video a while ago about smoking on balconies so that's why I know this one. Do you guys like my t-shirt? I'll just show you, it's got a little dinosaur on it. <laughs> okay, moving on to question number four. Which river runs through Budapest? I love Budapest, a lovely place, and I visited it on a river cruise, but on which river was I? It's a river that I was supposed to be cruising on a couple of weeks ago, but as we all know, no one is cruising anymore. Hello to everyone who's just coming in now. We've got people who say it should be like this, but I I prefer Ada. Aida just sounds really funny to me. I'm not sure why. That's not how the letters go. I want to pronounce kind of I, I don't know. Aida, fine. You can have that one. Okay, so that question is, which river runs through Budapest? Budapest. I get a lot of comments that say you should play a tune on the keyboard. People assume I can play it. I mean, I can, but only if the book says very easy, <laughs> like kids level piano. But I'm trying, I am trying. Okay, question number five. What is the main language spoken on an Aida cruise? I have not been on an Aida cruise yet, but yes. We have a comment that says two rivers, isn't it? I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the main river. There's probably other rivers. The main river in Budapest I'm thinking about. The big one, the big one through the middle with the bridges. <laughs> what is the main language spoken on an Aida cruise? Lots of answers there. Thank you to everybody who's joining me. It's nice to see you all coming in. We have hit 20,000 YouTube subscribers today, which is just, if I, uh, yeah, I could say thank you 20,000 times, but I don't know how long that would take. So if you are subscribed, 
A massive thank you to celebrate the 20,000. I've been filming a podcast today because I have just launched a Patreon. I'm probably the last YouTuber in the world to launch a Patreon. Everyone else did it ages ago. I meant to do it when I was at 3,000 subscribers and 5 and 10 and 15 and now at 20. I'm finally launching a Patreon. The Patreon is a page where people can support creator creators like me and to get exclusive stuff. So behind the scenes things, a patron only podcast, which is going to be really good because I can say anything I want on there. I can tell all of these stories. No one is listening. YouTube is great, but the cruise lines are watching me and stuff. So the, the podcast is going to be really, really good. If you are considering it, please head to patreon.com forward slash Emma Cruz's Patreon. I messed this one up because two years ago I claimed the forward slash Emma Cruz's and I've forgotten the login. So it's forward slash Emma Cruz's Patreon. There's various cool stuff on there. Um, and it'll be nice to see you on there. Moving on now to question number six. Where is the Bay of Biscay located? The Bay of Biscay has one of those reputations that I'm not, I'm not sure it deserves it to be fair. Um, it can be very stormy, it can be very rocky, but where is it? The Bay of Biscay. If you can just say which countries it is near, that's that's good enough for me. I did do a blog post about the Bay of Biscay ages ago. I asked everybody, you know, how did you find it? If you've been through it. Um, so it's on, on there, it's got all of the stats about how far is it from Southampton and stuff, but I'm not looking for that level of detail. Let's just tell me which countries border the Bay of Biscay and you can have, there's two countries. You have to get both the countries to get the point, I think. Two countries, get them both and get a point. Okay, moving on to question number seven. We are steaming through today, absolutely on a roll. Once we've got through 15 questions and you, I see some of your questions coming up, I will answer them. You can, We can just chat about whatever we want. It's nice to have some human interaction. I really miss going outside. I had a dream last night that I went to the pub and I, I ordered a Diet Coke, a small Diet Coke, and it came out and it was about this big and I was really disappointed. That's what I was dreaming about last night. Question number seven, which is the only cruise line to match loyalty statuses from other cruise lines? I have done this. I matched a Norwegian status to this cruise line and I enjoyed lots and lots of freebies, free food, free drink, free everything. But on which cruise line can you match loyalty statuses from other cruise lines? Not just cruise lines too. Sometimes they match hotel loyalty schemes. They match a lot of stuff. I have to say we've got pa Patreon number one in here. Todd managed to sign up for my Patreon before I had told anybody. I made it. I added the link to my about page on my website. He clicked on that. He found it. He signed up. Patreon number one right here, Todd. Thank you so much, Todd. I was very confused when I told nobody and had my first Patreon on there. So thank you, Todd. Okay. No one drinks Diet Coke at the pub. What's going on? I do. I love Diet Coke. Diet Coke, Pepsi Max, Coke Zero, any sort of diet soda. I would, over anything, I would pick a Pepsi Max. I've been rationing myself to one can per day during this whole thing. And yeah, that's probably the hardest part. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Question number eight. How much does it cost to go on the ropes courses on MSC Cruises? Just signed up. Looking forward to watching your podcast. This podcast is about the most traumatizing massage I've ever had in my life that I had on a cruise two years ago, and I've not had a massage since. <laughs> so that's what this week's Patreon podcast is about. The question is, again, how much does it cost to go on a ropes course on an MSC cruise? I have done the ropes course and it was terrifying, genuinely terrifying. I thought it's for kids. It's fine. And I got up there. I did one lap. <laughs> Never again. It was so scary. It was so windy. Maybe that's what it was. My daughter is asking, what's the juice you have this week? Um, 
Where is it? Oh, I put it on the floor. It is cherries and berries. Cherries and berries. I I probably get through six or seven of these a day of squash. Um, if I was at work, I would be drinking tea all of the time. But this is cherries and berries squash. It's just like diluted juice. We drink a lot of squash here in the UK. And I'm probably one of the biggest consumers of it. <laughs> okay. I see correct answers. I see wrong answers. That's what I like. I like to see lots of answers. On to question number nine. Which three colours are on Carnival's funnels? The funnels on Carnival ships, which three colours are there? Oh my goodness, I have interesting things happening here. Thank you very much. That's I didn't even know that you could do that, but thank you very much, Nicholas. I appreciate it. What will I spend $9.99 on? Ooh, probably some sweets. I've got a really sweet tooth. I love sugar. I've been eating so many sweets. But yeah, thank you very much, Nicholas. I appreciate it. It's amazing, the internet, isn't it? All of this functionality and you get a special gold thing there. Thank you very, very much. I see lots of correct answers coming up. Lots and lots and lots. But it could be a trick question, you know. Sometimes I put these ones in there just to trick you a little bit. More Diet Coke. Yeah, I might buy more Diet Coke. That's actually about right. $9.99 is probably the price I would pay for a, a lot of cans of Pepsi Max. So maybe you've just bought me Nicholas next week's Pepsi Max stash. Either way, thank you very much. Okay, question number 10. Do Viking provide river cruises, ocean cruises, or both? You can spend it on squash. Maybe I'll spend it on squash. At work, I have, oh, I have squash at work still, but that will be very out of date. I normally have two on my desk, and a bottle of squash normally lasts me about a week. <laughs> it's not good. Everyone knows me whenever I go on lunch to buy things. At work, I'm buying bananas, squash, and tea bags, pretty much. <laughs> Mr. Wig and Dave says, too easy. You know, I really, I, I, don't know how to get this right for too easy and too hard. Whatever I do, some people find it too easy and too hard. I think it's nice that everyone can get at least one question. That's kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> a week. Oh, my God, that's a lot of squash. I know. I have a real problem with the squash. But it's, 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 it's one. this one's one part squash, nine parts water. So I feel like that's quite good. If you're not from the UK... Everyone doesn't know what squash is. Squash is a vegetable, that's true, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to question number 11 now. Norwegian Ongor has three sisters. Name them. Oh my gosh, I put the answer on there. You can all have a point. Well done, you all get number 11 right. <laughs> You can all have a bonus point. Or, I mean, if you can read the screen, you can all have a bonus point. One question right for everybody. I was right up until the last second just uploading stuff. I've had quite a busy day, to be fair. I got up and I did a body pump class, which I used to do at the gym, but now I do it at home. Um, I painted some guttering. I went for my walk outside, and now I'm here. So there you go. You all get question 11 right. Well done, everybody. <laughs> We've got, we call it diluting juice in Scotland, and it's cordial. I would say cordial is like a, a posh squash, a fancy squash is a cordial. Um, it's kind of like, an, like a grown-up version, I suppose. Same sort of thing, though. <laughs> Darn, that was hard, lol. Yeah, I apologise. I was in quite a rush. Yeah. <laughs> But that, yeah, just treat that as a bonus. You all get number 11 right. And I'm going to check that I haven't done that again. <laughs> Question number 12. Which cruise ship's hull art features a sea witch? A sea witch is a kind of mythical person. And on which cruise ships will you find them? Can you use special juice or is only a special special blend from England. I mean, in England, in our supermarkets, we have a full aisle, which will just be of squash, completely of squash. You can't really just use any juice or it will just be 
watered down juice. It's not really the same. It doesn't. It doesn't really have like. It's not thick kind of like juice. You know what I mean? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you to Henry. Just noticed you're doing live shows. I missed your cruise reviews. Thank you so much, Henry. This is this is fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I think I I need to get this out. I don't know about anybody else, but it's really hard not to talk about cruising and think about cruising. And obviously, the cruise industry is closed, and I'm tr I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it going. I'm trying to stay positive. I'm not sure what video I'm going to do this Sunday actually. Normally I've kind of planned because I've been on cruises and I know what to do. Um, but at the moment I kind of feel just cruise cr news. Um, things are happening so fast that I think oh, I would like to tell people that. We've got Vimto is the best squash. A hundred percent agree with you. Vimto is the best squash. I think it's like a posh squash because it's a branded squash and it's slightly more expensive. It's better than Ribena, I would say. Vimto is the best squash. I love it. <laughs> Emma, you need to get over to the Bahamas and the Caribbean. That is the absolute dream right now. I can't even I can't even think about it. Although we do have kind of Caribbean weather here, apart from that. <laughs> Such a shame there are no picture questions. This is interesting because I didn't know if you guys liked the picture questions. I can do them again if you want me to. It's quite hard for me to do it on this StreamYard thing, but you guys are worth it. If you did like the picture questions that I did the other day, please let me know and then I will do some more. Oh, yeah. I love the little Viking behind you. I hadn't even noticed that. That is from Viking Cruises. To use this for my Viking Cruises question. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Okay, we've got yes, more pictures. Okay, next week we can do some more picture questions. Thank you for all joining me. I think people are coming in now. Hello, thank you for joining me here. We are on question number 13. In which decade were Princess Cruises founded? I'm going to very quickly read them again before I answer them, just so that if you haven't, if you've missed any or you've just come in late, you can, you can think about them quickly and answer them. <laughs> I want to buy a captain's hat next cruise. This one's from Virgin Voyages. I went to a Virgin Voyages event and I I didn't steal it, but I just bought it home. So that's that. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. So <laughs> in which decade were Princess Cruises founded? I'm a big Princess Cruises fan. I can't wait to cruise with Princess again. Um, hopefully it won't be too long. It's just not knowing when this is going to end, I think, is the worst thing. If they said, you know, September we'll be back cruising and it will be normal again, that would be fine, wouldn't it? I think it's just the not knowing that's a bit of a struggle. Was the love boat a princess ship? Yep, the love boat was a princess ship. I think it was Pacific Princess, maybe. Not sure, but it was a princess ship. I never watched The Love Boat. I'm sorry it was a bit before my time. We've got, yes, it was The Pacific Princess. So thank you for backing me up on that one. <laughs> okay. You have such a winning reputation with Virgin. <laughs> yeah, um, in my Patreon that I just launched, one of the episodes is gonna be about Virgin and you know how they reacted to my video and stuff. I don't feel like I can on YouTube say these things, but if you come into the secret Patreon club, Maybe you'll find out. It wasn't good. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> okay, question number 14. Which Cunard ship sails from New York to Southampton? She's technically an ocean liner. I put that there because I know Mr. Wigan Dave or someone in the comments will be saying, she's not a cruise ship, she's an ocean liner, which is very fair. They're different things. Cruise ship and ocean liners are different things. It's to do with um, things like the hull is a different thickness and shape and they're designed for different things. But yeah, an ocean liner is more for going A to B and a cruise ship is just for kind of cruising around, having a good time. That is mostly the difference. If you do want to know more about the difference, I have a post about it on my website. Cruising isn't just for old people.com. What a mouthful and a long, long website name but it's too late now and I'm keeping it. Which Cunard ship sails from New York to Southampton? I would love 
so much to do with transatlantic on Cunard. You you have to kind of prepare, don't you, and know that um, you're going to have a lot of sea days, so you're going to pack things. Um, I haven't ever been on the Queen Mary 2 or the Queen Elizabeth. Um, I've been on the Queen Victoria. That's the one, the Queen Victoria. I took a week cruise with Cunard. It was fantastic. It was nothing like I'd ever experienced before. That's why I started my website, why I started YouTube, why I started everything, because I thought, what is this? <laughs> I honestly just thought, what is this? <laughs> Heard lots of formal nights. Yeah, they have a lot of formal nights. And it's not just the formal nights, it's the fact that the informal nights are more formal than the formal nights on any other cruise line. And it's ship-wide dress codes after 6 p.m. It's very, very strict on dress codes. If you love formal nights and dress codes, fantastic. But yeah. Okay, moving on now. I'll answer some more, more questions in a minute because otherwise we're never going to get to the end and we're nearly there. We've got one more question. And that is, which high street coffee chain will you find on Royal Caribbean cruise ships? I'm not a fan of coffee. You know, I've, I've never finished a cup of coffee. I just don't like it. I don't, I don't, everyone says to me, you'll grow into coffee. I'm 26 now. I think if I was going to grow into it, I would have grown into it already. Do you not think? I don't know. I'll stick with my squash and a Pepsi Max over, over a coffee any day. I don't really drink anything with that much caffeine in it to be fair. I don't drink coffee, I don't drink energy drinks. There's a bit in the Pepsi Max, I suppose, but everyone seems to know this one. I wouldn't have got this. I just don't look out for the coffee chains, I suppose. <laughs> Will says, I'm also a tea person. That's good, I'm a tea person, I love tea. Okay, I'm gonna go through the questions now and the answers. Okay, question number one was, what is the oldest cruise ship in the Morella Cruises fleet? I have cruised with Morella, but I have not been on the oldest cruise ship in the fleet. I think it is a, not a shame, but it, it kind of is that they have some really old ships and then they have some newer ships. Because I think the difference between them is quite a lot. And a lot of people who cruise on the old ones would say, oh, I didn't like it. And it's so different from the new ones. Personally, I don't know if I would like the old ones as much. I see some correct answers in here and I have got Todd here, who is Patreon number one. I'm just gonna call him number one. Um, I'm not planning on calling everyone by number, but Patreon number one here. Well done, Todd, for finding it. Thanks for trivia, makes my Friday lunchtime entertaining. Fun to interact, but I need to start typing the answers instead of screaming them out. I don't mind. I mean, I can't hear you. I can't hear anybody. I can just hear my own voice, which does get annoying after a while. But thank you so much, Todd, for this super chat. This is a new world of super YouTube, I suppose. Thank you very much. We've got some correct answers here. It is the celebration. The celebration is the oldest one. The next oldest one is the dream. And I think there's two years between them. So they're both quite old cruise ships. They're in the 86, 88-ish kind of range, I think. It's strange because these ships, they're not that much older than the, the Explorer and Discovery, but the difference between them is quite a lot. These are definitely traditional ships from the 80s. If you've ever been on a cruise ship from the 80s, you can tell how old they are. I know it seems strange because even if they refurbished it, there's some things that they can't they can't mask over from the 80s. Just Kind of like the, the the way you'd be walking down a corridor and then halfway through there would be a step. You know what I mean? Like little things like that. Things would be off center. Nothing wrong with them at all, but it's definitely a different cruising experience. Even if you cruise on a ship that's from the 90s, the 90s onwards, they don't feel old, but the ones from the 80s, they feel old. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but you just have to be aware of it. Having sailed on the Thompson Spirit, I wouldn't go on the celebration as they're too traditional and old. I think I'm pretty much the same. I'm thinking the same thing. Um, I have cruised on one ship from the 80s, which was the Celestial Olympia with Celestial, who are a Greek cruise line. And it was fantastic. It was really, really good. But that said, I'm going to pick a newer cruise ship. I think even the ones from the 90s are brilliant. But once you get back into the 80s, it's just... Yeah, and we've got 84 and 86. I wasn't too far away then with my guesses of 86 and 88. 
I will take that. Is that a big line? It's quite a big line here in Britain. They're a British cruise line. They used to be called Thompson and now they're called Morella. They have got six cruise ships and some old Royal Caribbean ships in there too. So they do have some really nice ships. The old ones are just a bit old. <laughs> yeah, Celebration has lots of character and it vibrates. That's the thing. I took the cruise ship, the Celestial Olympia, that one from the 80s, and you would sit there and it would be like, <laughs> it just made you feel like you were on a cruise, like you were really on a ship. On new ships, you can completely forget that you're on a cruise ship. You can see people's tummies vibrating on the sunbeds. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that image. Making me cry. <laughs> nice <laughs> okay moving on to question number two we've got the atlantic ocean is the biggest ocean true or false a little bit of a trick question kind of liam says does the olympia have any balconies um it has like four balconies i think i stayed in a mini suite and that just had a window the older cruise ships pretty much weren't designed for balconies and now they're pretty much not designed for inside. So we've got loads of answers. Most of you are right. The answer is false, 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 false. And who wants to tell me? Oh, Stephen does. It is the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is their biggest ocean. Um, yeah, so the answer is false. Well done if you got that. It seems like everybody got that. Just going to put this here again because I like that picture. <laughs> okay, moving on to question number three. There are four cruise lines where guests can smoke on their balconies. They are Tui, Fred Olsen, Aida, and which other? That is the German Tui, not the Morella Tui, German Tui. Fred Olsen, the British cruise line, the quite traditional smaller older ships from Fred Olsen. Aida is the German cruise line. And which other? <laughs> I can't believe that there's any that you can still smoke on the balconies, to be honest with you. But Liam has got it here. It is Costa Cruises. It is Costa Cruises, yes. Um, I, I'm not a supporter of smoking on the balconies. I think it's very dangerous. It's very easy for people to throw them overboard. Very easy for people to accidentally take them into their cabin. Um, you think Costa would know better, but they still allow smoking on the balconies. That said, so many people love it and they actually go on these cruise lines so that they can smoke on the balconies. Talking about smoking, one thing that I, I, I've never smoked, never ever smoked, and it confuses me so much that they have cigar lounges on some cruise ships, but you can only smoke cigars in there. I don't know why. Why can't you smoke cigarettes in there? You can normally smoke pipes. Anybody know why? Yeah, Liam says, look what happened to Star Princess. Star Princess had a massive fire caused by a cigarette. I mean, if you see pictures of this ship, one whole side is just burnt out black. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question number whatever is next is for which river runs through Budapest? If there are multiple rivers, I mean the main one. I did see some multiple answers there, and I'm just thinking of the big one. What is the big river that runs through Budapest? I cruised on this river through Budapest. Yep, it is the Danube. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, I was just getting distracted by this comment that says, you can smoke all but weed in MSC lounges. Interesting. Anyway, the answer is Danube, and I took a cruise on the Danube on with, with Saga. Saga are a 50 plus British cruise line and they invited me on the cruise. Why? I don't know. It was really, really strange. The Danube, well done to everybody who got Danube. I had a great time. I took my mum. They wanted me to take someone who was 50 plus. So I said, mum, do you want to come on a river cruise? And we had a really, really good time. Everybody was so nice. I did Zumba on there. I didn't think they'd have Zumba on a 50 plus cruise, but it was really fun. Saga don't have their own river cruise ships, so they have ones that they kind of charter out from other companies. The ship was from the 90s, I think, um, but it was nice. We had a really, really good time. Okay. <laughs> they wanted a good review. Yeah, but why? 
they never they never asked me to make anything or do any anything so I don't really know what the point was they never they never checked in with me or, or anything so I don't know we had a great time anyway and I'm 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 never gonna turn down the chance like that to take my mum on a river cruise she says great time we had a fantastic time it was so good river cruising is pro proper just amazing if you can afford it definitely do it I've done Saga, but the new ships are too pricey. The new ships, like Spirit of Discovery, they have ocean ships, and they are gorgeous, so nice, so nice. It kind of hurts me that I can't cruise on this ship until I'm 50, because they're so nice. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Question number five. What is the main language spoken on an Aida cruise? I did say this earlier by accident, but I'm sure you guys will know. <laughs> Zumba, is that what we call Zumba in the States? Like dance exercise, Zumba. Is, do I say it like bruh, Zumba? That's how we say it, Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Yeah, Zumba is the dance exercise, it's like the kind of, I don't know, the, the wiggly one, the one where it's all wiggling your hips and stuff. <laughs> Okay, the correct answer is German. Well done to everybody who said German. I would like to cruise with Aida. I love their ships with the big eyes and the face on the side. I've sailed next to some Aida cruise ships and it sounds like they are having so much fun on there. They're screaming, they're cheering, they're having mad parties. It does sound really, really good. We've got a question here that says, I'm sure this has been asked, how do you think the cruise industry will bounce back and the travel industry in general? I think it's going to be a difficult thing and I think it's going to take a long time but I have no doubts that cruising will get back on its feet it's got through a lot of things before I worry about some of the smaller cruise lines the British ones the Greek ones I have no worries about these big American cruise lines they'll be just fine I think the sad thing really is all of the crew obviously it's sad for us that we've had cruises cancelled but for the crew who've been you know their contracts are shortened or they're stuck on a cruise ship or all kinds of things going on. I think the industry will bounce back. I don't know which way it will go. Will the cruises get very expensive or will they get very cheap? I don't know, but I'll be here to find out. Um, I think towards the end of the year, we're going to see some cruises. I think it's going to take a while before things do go back to normal, though. But I, I'm, I'm sure the cruise industry will just be fine. Okay, we have got people who say, do you have to speak German on Aida? No, but I think you would you would miss out. Please tell me if you speak English and you don't speak German and you've been on Aida cruise. I, they do have things like menus in English, as far as I know, but like the entertainment and stuff is all in German, so not sure. <laughs> I'd love to cruise Aida too. I know a little German, so I could get about and staff speak English. For everything else, there's Google Translate. You could end up with some weird things. I went on a family holiday to Cuba, and we we I don't we couldn't speak Spanish, and um, we ended up ordering a prawn pizza. Prawns on pizza It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, would you cruise late this year? I'm cruising as soon as I can. Absolutely, as soon as I can. My work have told me at the moment I'm not allowed to book any holiday or cancel any holiday. And they've cut my wages and taken away my sick pay and stuff. So I don't know if I could actually book a cruise right now. But yeah, we'll see. What ship is that on the shelf behind you? It is the MSC Blizzima. Okay. Oh, we've got announcements also in English and most crews speak English. Yeah. Okay. Where is the Bay of Biscay located? Any guesses on the Bay of Biscay? I've cruised a number of times through the Bay of Biscay. It's never really been worse than anywhere else. So there's two countries that are <laughs> around the Bay of Biscay. And um, which, wh where is it? Which are they? Hello, Emma. How is Hudson coping with lockdown? He is coping fantastically. He is loving the sunshine. He is loving the attention. He's loving the dreamies. I'm out of dreamies. Oh no, I'm out of dreamies. Um, I painted some guttering earlier with black metal paint. So I'm trying to keep Hudson away from that because he's ginger and he's white 
and I have black paint in the garden. So maybe I shouldn't have left him unattended for an hour to do this, but I'm sure he will be fine. It is between Spain and France. Yep, that is the correct answer. You get one point for that. I suppose you could say technically Northern Portugal, but it's kind of round and I'd say Spain and France. Spain and France, Spain, France, Spain and France, Spain slash France. Spain and France, Spain and France, yes. <laughs> okay, question number seven, which is the only cruise line to match loyalty statuses from other cruise lines? Definitely recommend doing this if you are cruising with this cruise line, because what do you have to lose? You fill in a form and then free stuff, and everyone loves free stuff. Yep, the correct answer there is MSC. MSC have been very um how do i say it been very difficult with their refunds lately um i love msc i've cruised with msc three times they originally said people could claim refunds from july then they moved it to next year then they moved it back to july now you can claim refunds now so if you have got an msc cruise and it's cancelled you can cancel it now and get a refund but it's been hard work I don't have any books at the moment, which is a shame. I definitely would like to do more MSC cruises. They're so cheap. I don't think you can really go wrong with MSC cruises. As long as you ex you know that everything is done in a thousand languages and, you know, you're going to have more Mediterranean food and things like that, you can have a really good time on an MSC cruise. How does MSC compare to an American line? I have a video on my channel called... I think it's seven fundamental differences between MSC and Royal Caribbean. So if you are interested in that, definitely check out that video after this. It's very, very different from American cruise lines. In almost every way, it's really, really hard to say. So the announcements on board will be done in multiple languages. The people on board will speak multiple languages. The food is more Mediterranean based than the American food. You'll find pasta and pizza and lots of vegetables. I personally like it, but if you're used to a big American portions, sometimes people say it's quite small portions. The entertainment is really quite strange because they avoid using speech because there's so many languages spoken on board. So sometimes it's quite interpretive and a bit, I think it's a bit odd. I don't know. I don't dislike it, but MSC cruises are very, very cheap. And people tend to get on at different ports, at least in Europe. Okay. Yeah. Show your black card and be treated like a king. I am now a black loyalty status on MSC and I do show that black card. And they've changed it now, actually, because I was platinum with Norwegian and that matched me to black. And if I did it again now, I'd get matched to silver, I think. So I'm keeping my perks. You get free laundry you get free chocolate ship you get a meal in a specialty restaurant you get wine you get all kinds of stuff for not really doing anything i think people ruin their own vacations by having expectations life is so much happy <laughs> so much happier when you can just go with the flow i assume that's what that says i completely agree i think people need to be prepared um but yeah, you kind of just have to go with the flow. I always say cruises on magical mystery tours, and now that is more true than ever. Okay. No free laundry. I'm thinking of Norwegian then. Norwegian give me free laundry. Thank you to Norwegian. Okay. I read your post about MSC. It was very informative. Thank you very much, Justin. I have just reached 250 posts on my website. So that is cruising isn't just for old people.com. If you ever want to know anything about any cruise line, just type in the cruise line. Chances are I've done something about it at some point. All my videos will be in there too. So yeah, cruising isn't just for old people.com. My website traffic is down about 90% per day since the dreaded thing has happened. So that is very, very sad. But I'm still writing things and they will be there when we all get back to cruising. <laughs> How much does it cost to go on the ropes course on an MSC cruise? I have to say this was so much scarier than I thought it would be. I think it's because I cruised in January and it was cold and it was windy 
and these kids were going by me and they're really, really high, really high. It is free. They are free. Yes, they are free. Tim there, no, he's my expert for all of this stuff, but it is free. What's a ropes course? A ropes course is, um, so when you go up high and you walk around on bits of wood that are suspended on strings, that's what they have on the back of a lot of MSC ships. Don't look down. I know don't look down, but it's really, really not that easy. It is free. Well done to everybody who says three, free, three. <laughs> I think that's, um, it's good that it's free. Some other cruise lines I think would charge for that. It wasn't too busy either. You had to sign a waiver and get a little wristband to say that you've signed the waiver. Um, just in case you do anything silly and hurt yourself, then tough. But yeah, it was really, really good. It was fun. I'm glad I've done it, but I'm in no rush to do it again at all. No way. Just found out that the Morella Celebration and Dream will be decommissioned in 2024. I'm quite happy about that, to be fair. <laughs> Okay, what three colors are on Carnival's funnels? I'm so gutted that I missed out on my first ever Carnival cruise because of this. I was supposed to be cruising in May on the Carnival Radiance. That's been canceled. I've requested my refund, I'm waiting for it. And then, yeah, I really wanted to cruise with Carnival. I wanted one of those really disgusting looking guys burgers. I wanted just to have fun and chill out and I will get there, but yeah. The correct answer is red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Well done to everybody who got that one. Okay, I went on the ropes course on NCO Getaway. It was fun. They had a plank and a zip line. The plank thing is terrifying. So it's basically a piece of wood where you walk out over the edge of the cruise ship. So strange. Okay. <laughs> Some people really don't like guys' burgers. I'm sure it's the type of thing where you eat it and you feel yourself getting unwell. Like, ow, but I still would like to have one. I'm sure I will cruise again with Carnival at some point, but yeah, just got to wait at the moment. Question number 10, do Viking provide river cruises, ocean cruises, or both? Let's see what this little guy says. He's proper cute. There's another thing around here somewhere that is, I don't know where it's gone. I've got another Viking thing, but this one's an actual Viking. Word on to all of the comments that say both. The correct answer is both. I have been on a Viking ocean cruise, which was fantastic. I would love to cruise on the river too, but it was so good. So good. Honestly, I spent four days on the Viking Sea, cruising in Norway. And since then, it's really ruined everything else for me. Nothing is quite like that. That ship is gorgeous. Sorry, I just nudged you with the Viking. <laughs> um, I could eat from the buffet, the, from the mini bar, the buffet, the food, my goodness. To call it even a buffet is just, it's so good. You have all your drinks with meals. They had underfloor heating in the bathroom. They had anti-fog mirrors. You get out with a shower and it's not fogged up. It was so good. Absolutely amazing. If I had the money, what I would be doing is cruising with Viking all of the time. I'd love to take my parents on a Viking cruise. That's a, a dream, absolute dream of mine. I cruise on the Viking Sea, but they're all the same. Apart from Jupiter has something extra, but generally speaking, all the Viking ocean ships are pretty much the same. Too pricey. Yeah, they are quite pricey. Um, but there's a lot included in them and they are, they're luxurious and it's kind of a line that I think actually deserves that price. It's a, a similar price to other cruise lines. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Moving on to question number 11. You all got this one. You all got the point. Well done. You can just have that free point. My mum is in here. My dad is in here too. They say, yes, please. Heated floors, amazing. The heated floors were so good. So good. Okay. We've got Francesca in here. Finished work and finally logged on. Hello. Hello to Francesca. Francesca and me, we went to the River Cruise Conference together last year and it was just... Okay, sometimes I, sometimes I would rather have a foggy mirror after climbing out of the shower. Well, 
<laughs> so that one's up to you. It was so good. So good. Okay, so you all get a point for number 11. You don't have to do anything because I put the answers on there. A free point for everybody. Question number 12. Which cruise ship's hull art features a sea witch? A sea witch is a mythical woman, I suppose we could say. And which ones feature a sea witch? I much prefer cruise ships that have something cool, cool on the hull. Um, I like it when it's instantly recognisable. So if you see a cruise ship with a Union Jack on it, you can tell it's p &O from a mile away. If you see one with an I on it, you can tell it's Aida from a mile away. And the correct answer is, it is, it is Princess. Well done to everybody who got Princess. Lots of Princess question mark there. Yep, the correct answer is Princess. It's got the big blue woman with the, that is the sea witch. Question number 13. In which decade were Princess Cruises founded? This is old, a lot older than I thought. I don't know why. But what decade were they founded? This is where I always hope I have the correct answer, but I'm pretty sure I do. Yep, you guys, it is the 60s. Amazingly, it is the 60s. Quite a lot of cruise lines started in the 60s, to be fair. So if you've got 60s, like Caroline and Belle, you can have a point. It is the 60s. Ryan, Tim, well done, everybody. Question number 14. Which cruise ship sails from New York to Southampton? She's technically an ocean liner, but for the sake of this, which cruise ship? I would love to get back on board and have afternoon tea on a Cunard ship again. It's amazing how fast you get used to having another meal between lunch and dinner. When you start for the first few days, you're thinking like, oh, I'm so full. And then by the end, after you've had lunch, you're like, oh, I'm hungry for afternoon tea now. So you get used to it and you come back home and it's the biggest letdown ever because no one in England has afternoon tea. Sometimes people think that we do. Um, no, I haven't had afternoon tea at home in my whole life. <laughs> it is the Queen Mary 2. Well done to everybody who got that one. Lots of you got that one. Well done to Queen Mary 2. I'd love to cruise on the Queen Mary 2. Maybe one day I will. Okay, last question. Which high street coffee chain will you find on a Royal Caribbean cruise? Let me know if you're a big fan of coffee. I knew some people, when they announced this, they were so happy that they could get their fix from coffee on this cruise. But I've never even... Doesn't cross my mind. Doesn't cross my mind. But if they like that as much as I like Pepsi Max, then I understand. <laughs> it is... Starbucks, yes, well done to everybody who got Starbucks. I think it's an odd idea to have these brand businesses on cruise ships. I'm not sure why, I just find it strange. Just find it strange. I would I would be putting on a Greg's. If you're from the UK, I'd be putting on a Greg's. <laughs> Greg's is like donuts and ice buns and gingerbread men and stuff like that. The correct answer is Starbucks and it is not part of the drinks package. Nope. Um, and those drinks packages are expensive. Very, very expensive. <laughs> okay, cool. So we have reached 20,000 YouTube subscribers today, which is absolutely madness. I've spent my day filming a, well, recording a podcast for the first time. I'm not quite used to doing podcasts, so I'm kind of wiggling my hands all over the place. And that is going to be available on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a place where you can support creators and you get exclusive stuff. So it's kind of like a little exclusive club where I can tell you guys all of the secrets that I can't tell you on the internet because people are here, okay? So if you would like to come into the super secret club, it costs $5, which honestly, I'm viewing it as like, we meet up for a Pepsi Max and I tell you, whatever you want to know. Like, <laughs> that's how it is. There's going to be things like outtakes on there. You guys, maybe if you watch my YouTube videos, but you don't realize how hard it is to make YouTube videos. The amount that I mess up, I constantly mess up. I'm going to put outtakes on there. There's going to be early release videos. When new things happen, like that's going to be the, the in club. So if you are up for supporting me, if you've ever enjoyed any kind of uh, YouTube video or blog content and stuff. All of that stuff is going to remain free forever. I'm never going to charge you to be in our Facebook group or YouTube or 
blog post or anything like that. But if you would like something extra, patreon.com forward slash Emma Cruz's Patreon. I messed this up by making one when I had 3,000 YouTube subs and I called it forward slash Emma Cruz's. And now I can't remember the login. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see lots of comments here. Sorry, I was just talking for a second. Congratulations on 20,000. 20,000. I can't. What even? I can't even imagine 20,000. Like, I can't picture in my head anything more than about, I don't know, 3,000? 20,000 is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, everybody. 20,000. That's terrifying. If I thought about that too long, I'd probably never make a YouTube video again because I would be so scared. <laughs> it's really strange because I make these videos, it feels like no one is here. It feels like it's just me because it is just me in this room. I put them onto the internet and then sometimes hundreds of thousands of people see these. Really, really strange. But I appreciate every single one of you. And if you would like me to say thank you 20,000 times, I suppose I could. I wouldn't really want to and we'd be here for a while. But thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed. Liam says in February it was 10K. I know. It took me two years to get my first 10,000 and then three months to get the next 10,000. So, I, I mean, I have a maths degree, but I can't really work out how that's going to work. But on to 100,000, that would be, I can't even think about that right now. 20,000 is absolutely mad. <laughs> thank you all so, so much. <laughs> 20,000 times typing thank you would give you something to do during lockdown. I'm actually feeling quite busy at the moment. <clears throat> I'm still working from home. Um, yeah, I'm working from home during the week. And then I'm trying to do some exercise still. I'm trying to record YouTube videos. I'm not sure what this Sunday's is going to be about yet. Um, but I have the full weekend to think about it. I'm still writing content for my website, even though no one is reading it now because no one is booking cruises. But you will cruise again, right? Like, we will cruise again and everything will be there waiting. So, I can't, uh, yeah, I'm keeping myself quite busy. I think for me, personally, I only feel happy when I've I've been productive. Like, it makes me really, really sad to do nothing. Um, so I like to get to the end of the day and say, oh, I've done a workout, I've painted this, and I've done a live. Like, that makes me happy. So I'm keeping myself busy. I hope you guys are all finding something to keep you busy. This is a really just a really strange situation to be in for the first time in my life I'm not really sleep sleeping very well and I can sleep forever <laughs> I found out about you when you did the marathon for Sean and Steph for you guys who who know Sean and Steph Sean is he's just had week three of his chemo and his tumor marker things have gone down a lot so He's having a really, really tough time with the chemo right now, but it sounds like it's working. Um, and he is staying as positive as he can, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> I need to see what Virgin said. Is that on your site or Patreon? That's just an idea for a podcast. Um, because, yeah, I'm thinking of Patreon as like, where I can say whatever I want and just tell stories. Uh, it's, it's not going to be overly educational, um, but I think there's enough of that on here. It's just going to be kind of friendly and lighthearted, and it will be on Patreon at some point. If that's what you want to know about, then, yeah. I'm going to ask all of the Patreons what they want, and then I might do a Patreon-only live because it's really hard to see all of these comments, and I wish I could answer every single one, but it's quite difficult <laughs> found you through La Lida Loca. Absolutely love Tony. Absolute legend. He is just inspiring. I don't know how he puts out so much content. I'm doing one video a week and one live. And then yeah, that's it. That's quite that's quite enough for me. Thanks, Emma, and another fun Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. I think I'm gonna go now and have dinner. Thank you all for joining me on week number five. I will be here same time next week for another trivia session. So let me know what you'd like. Um, if you'd like to see anything particular or have any questions, maybe we, I'm trying to split it between hard questions and easy questions and across all cruise lines. Cause I think if I just did MSC trivia, you guys who hadn't cruised with MSC would be in trouble. So I'm trying to, trying to split it out. What's for dinner? I have no idea, no idea yet. Down the pub, I wish I could go down the pub. I did have a dream about the pub yesterday. It was a strange dream because we kind of we sat on this long table like all spread out I guess 
really strange. Okay, well, I'm going to go now. Thank you all so much for joining me. <laughs> Say no to Pepsi, no more Pepsi Max. I'm saying no to you. I'm saying yes to Pepsi Max. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, who gave me a super chat as well. That is super cool. Bye. <laughs>